In this video, I will be telling you how to create different polygons with different sides. As for the definition of a polygon, a polygon is any figure which uh, has more than two sides. So in Corel Draw, we have a special tool for polygon. Uh, you can there is a keyboard shortcut for polygon. You can press Y on your keyboard, or you can go to this uh, shape tool and select polygon from here and uh, uh, here you will have different settings for like you can have a f default sides 4 or 5 uh, it, it has to be 5 so uh, by default it is 5 so if you try to draw something it will have 5 sides you can see there are 4 5 edges 1 2 3 4 5 and if you will if you want to change it you can make the sides as 4 and then you can uh, rotate this to make it look like a rectangle or uh, quadrilateral a quadrilateral is basically the figure with four sides so let's uh, reduce the number of sides by one and you, you will see that if I have uh, s reduced the number of sides by one the selected shape is also changed and then now the sides are three because uh, in a triangle there are three sides and uh, there cannot be less than three because if there are less than three edges the figure will not be a closed figure so uh, let's make the edges five so we have a pentagon let's make the edges uh, let's fill some color in it let's uh, now again uh, let's increase the size uh, number of edges to six so now this is the polygon with six edges let's increase the number of edges by one one again we have this uh, i guess it is called septagon septagon i guess let's increase the number of edges by one and we have this shape this is octagon no this is still the 7 let's increase the number of sides by 1 now we have an octagon an octagon with 8 edges you can count the number of edges because computer can never make a mistake in this case uh, so ok so uh, let's select 9 and uh, now we have 9 edges let's select 10 and we have 10 edges so we have created different polygons with different edges this is the pentagon with uh, five edges triangle with three edges again pentagon with five edges this is the hexagon the septagon no uh, this is one two three four five six seven eight this is octagon and we have we can have various shapes and uh, let me show you a very good thing about the Corel Draw. Suppose I create a polygon and I have filled some color. Let me increase the number of sides by one. As you can see that you can very clearly see that if uh, as the number of sides, let me zoom in. Then I will carry on. Okay. So as the number of sides will increase, let me select the polygon tool. As the number of sides will increase uh, you can see that the figure will try to be more like a circle because uh, as the number of points the number of uh, you can say the nodes will increase then they will tend tend to be more closer and they will occupy try to uh, you know uh, take the shape of a circle so i'm just keep uh, i'm just adding more and more nodes you can very clearly see that after some point it is exactly like a circle but not uh, fully circle because uh, at the pixel level it is not circle but it looks circle to us because we are viewing from the very uh, top view the zoomed out view uh, so uh, let's just uh, choose the shape tool let let us uh, let's play with some points uh, with the uh, with the shape tool we can make it make its shape like this which is pretty cool and uh, uh, we can uh, make it less like this 
four let me just go back and make that again or i can uh, try to uh, make these points uh, bulge outwards so it looks like this isn't it cool i can also make it like this which is exactly cool i can make it like this i can also uh, make some rotation and make it inward like this and uh, uh, i can make it like this i can stretch it even outward or i can rotate it uh, to a desired angle you can see that it has a like a, a spiral i have moved it from inner to outer circle in a cir spiral manner and uh, uh, let me show you one more cool thing uh, which is uh, this one the the distort let me just uh, distort this image and you can see that we can create even more complex images very easily with just you know uh, blurring something and uh, uh, distorting some portions of the image of the graphic you can see this is a very cool image you can you can experiment with this tool you can uh, play with different angles different uh, uh, shapes let me just uh, try to make it zoomed out a bit let's make it 150 so it is pretty cool and uh, uh, for this you can use contour what it does is uh, i have tried it but my computer is slow because we have made such a complex shape but anyway for the video uh, most of the part i have covered in this and uh, uh, if there is anything left in the polygon section i will cover it in the subsequent video uh, do subscribe for my channel and uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye it is very cool